Today in crypto, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, blockchain, and DAOs none of these are things you'd expect to hear about at Fashion Week. Right now, the fashion world is still standing at a distance from the world of blockchain. Generally, fashion enthusiasts make clothing purchases using fiat currency rather than cryptocurrency, and as far as any of their collections go, they're most likely not NFT collections. However, as we enter ever so boldly into the Web3 era of the Internet, the many new conversations around blockchain are bound to have piqued the interest and curiosity of some fashionistas around the world, and maybe confused a few in the process. If this sounds like you, then consider this as your first step towards a new understanding of blockchain, through Faith Drive, the upcoming blockchain project of Parisian fashion brand Faith Connection. Decentralization provides easier access into the fashion industry. Faith Connection wants to make it easier for the continue reading on CoinQuara. The Russian central bank wants to ban investments in cryptocurrencies in Russia, citing the growing number of crypto transactions as a threat to financial stability. Russia's central bank is attempting to outlaw cryptocurrency investments escalating the country's long-standing distrust of Bitcoin and other digital assets. Future transactions would be prohibited, but present holders would not be forced to sell their holdings. Cryptocurrencies, according to Russian authorities, can be used for money laundering and terrorism financing. According to Reuters, the bank's current stance on cryptocurrency is a complete rejection. Although it is still illegal in Russia to undertake cryptocurrency transactions, a new amendment has made it permissible to invest in and buy cryptocurrencies through exchanges. Any such limitations might stifle Russia's current retail investment boom, which has seen 15 million Russians create brokerage accounts in the last few years. According to central bank estimates, the regulator has already acted quickly to restrict access to other types of risky investment products, anticipating that Russia's low financial literacy and strong broker marketing might lead to consumers being lured into high-risk investments. If they want to invest in items like options and derivatives, retail investors must must complete a series of examinations. Elvira Nebialina, the governor of the Central Bank of Russia, increased the fear uncertainty, and doubt, FUD, around the country's current state of crypto regulation in a Friday press conference. When asked about the rise of digital assets, Nabi Alina said the following, according to Finmarket.ru, a local news outlet, you know that our attitude towards cryptocurrencies is of, to put it mildly, skepticism. Related to this are the significant risks for retail investors and the substantial volatility for this type of asset. In addition, Cryptocurrencies are opaque in that they are frequently used for illegal operations or criminal nature. Therefore, we cannot welcome investments in them. We seek to prevent the Russian financial infrastructure from using crypto transactions. This is quite doable. Related article, Russia plans to impound unlawfully acquired cryptocurrencies. Andrei Lugovoy, a member of Parliament's lower house, the State Duma has threatened miners with jail if they connect their equipment to the power grid without permission. Lugovoy disclosed in November that his nationalist party, the Liberal Democratic Party of Russia, is preparing to introduce a draft law to govern crypto mining. According to the congressman, the approval of the legislation will help Russian nationals, the state, and entrepreneurs who wish to legitimately engage in business. He has now added, in an interview with the Russian online news outlet Lenta.ru, that mining regulation makes sense. Aside from charging mining businesses varying power prices, the deputy believes their profits should be taxed after deducting the cost of the energy consumed and other expenses such as labor. Lugavoy accused miners of avoiding paying taxes by using subsidized, low-cost electricity. Related article, held accountable, Russia wants Bitcoin investors jailed for non-compliance. Adidas has entered the NFT league. On Friday, the sportswear firm will debut a new line of NFTs called Into the Metaverse, which will grant consumers access to a virtual fan club. NFT owners will be able to purchase limited edition apparel, and Adidas claims that members will help define the products and experiences that the business creates for its NFT community. Adidas has unveiled Originals, Into the Metaverse, a non-fungible token, NFT, collection created in collaboration with non-fungible token, NFT, collections board Ape Yacht Club, Punk's Comic, 
and crypto influencer Gmoni. Nearly 30,000 NFTs will be offered for purchase at a fixed price, with 20,000 reserved for early access sales to owners of partner collections. Erica Weixnid, VP of Brand Communications, Adidas Originals said, This is where people spend their time how they want to express themselves and what's going to force brands to act in ways that no one's comfortable with yet, and it is already in our DNA to be a true collaborator brand. During the last week of November, the sneaker and sportswear company announced a team up with Coinbase, calling the metaverse exciting. Adidas also hinted at collaborating with the Sandbox, a metaverse game. Adidas announced a partnership with the Bordet Piat Club, BAYC, the cryptocurrency investor Gmoni, and the comic series Punk's Comic during the first week of December. Last month, the footwear giant sold a collector token that might be used to redeem a future reward, except that it was unclear when and how much would be redeemable, leaving customers perplexed and prompting some to wonder if Adidas was rushing into NFTs to keep up with other brands. The Originals Collection, on the other hand, which debuted less than a month after Adidas' first token appearance, is far more on brand. Furthermore, Given the reach and popularity of its partners, Adidas launch puts it in a strong position to compete with brands with more established ventures in this market. Related article, Will NFTs Kill Traditional Art? Famed collector Kozomo de Medici makes the case Adidas has also purchased a Indigo Hertz NFT from the Bordet Piat Club, BAYC. According to the wallet's NFT summary, the Bake NFT Indigo Hertz is formally known as Bordet Piat Club No. 8774, and Adidas has a tiny collection of NFTs. Leading up to the launch, Adidas confirmed members were given the chance to redeem a Pope, Proof of Attendance Protocol, NFT status badge, commemorating their presence at the start of the brand's metaverse journey. The company's NFT collection announcement details. It's so refreshing to see a culturally influential brand like Adidas Originals work so closely hand in hand with the NFT community, said Gmoni. At every step, they've included the right partners from the crypto, metaverse, and NFT community and listened to their thoughts at an early stage. Nike, Adidas' major competitor, stated last month that it is interested in the metaverse as well. On November 18th, Nike published a blog post titled Nike Land, detailing how the company has established itself in the popular virtual environment Roblox. Nike made a major step on Monday by purchasing NFT company RTFKT, which is recognized for its digital sneakers and robust NFT community. Related article, the most prominent NFT platforms and their tokens. On Thursday conflicting reports emerged in Russia on the state of crypto regulatory affairs. First, a report by Reuters indicated that the Central Bank of Russia is seeking a ban on cryptocurrencies, citing risks to financial stability and the exploding volume of transactions. If enacted, the move would align with remarks made by Russian President Vladimir Putin last month, who stated that cryptocurrencies bear high risks at an investment forum in Moscow. The nation's central bank is currently preparing an advisory report on the issue. However, Anatoly Aksakov, chairman of the Duma, Russian Parliament, Committee on Financial Markets, gave the following statement in the press conference the same day, as reported by local news outlet Interfax.ru and translated by Cointelegraph. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Inflation concerns and a general sense of trepidation about the future of the global economy continue to put a damper on Bitcoin, BTC, and altcoin prices, and currently, the crypto fear and greed index is solidly in the fear zone where it has been parked since the beginning of December. Despite the brief bump in prices seen across the markets following the recent Federal Open Market Committee meeting where Fed Chair Jerome Powell indicated that interest rates would remain low for the time being. The overall sentiment in the crypto market continues to wane, signaling that 2021 could end on a bearish note. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.